Hey, I'm Adam Hausmeyer. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. The other day when I was out doing a little walk around of the Orange Trail at McMurtry Lake, uh, one of the things I noticed that the lens I was using is the 16 to 80 uh, F4 from Fuji. The image stabilization wasn't very good at all. It's like the image stabilization of the lens and the camera are kind of counteracting each other. And uh, it just didn't work that good. And what I kind of noticed uh, some of the other people's videos online was that their image stabilization of the XS10 was much better than what I was getting out of it. But I noticed that they were using prime lenses. So what I did was I ordered the uh, 16 millimeter 2.8 lens. And I just want to see how the image stabilization uh, is doing. So I came out to the botanical gardens just to kind of do a little brief uh, walk around. I just want to check on the image stabilization, see if I can get any better out of a prime lens. Um, so that's what I'm out here doing today. There's a little path right here. I want to start off and I'm just going to do like a little vlog test, walk up back and forth a couple of times. I have this lens, uh, the 16 millimeter 2.8. I, I brought the 16 to 80 just so we can do a comparison. That was a 16 millimeter 2.8. That was a 16 millimeter 2.8 with the electronic image stabilization. Now let's try the 16 to 80 at 16 with the electronic image stabilization. All right, now we're gonna turn the electronic stabilization off and just use the IBIS and the camera and whatever the lens has got going on. This I found not just to be not very good at all. So I came out to the botanical gardens the other day and I want to do some stabilization test between the 16 2.8 on the Fuji prime lens and the 16 to 80 F4 uh, zoom lens that I got, it's kind of a kit lens. After doing that test, I realized that the 16 to 80 is just not very good at all as far as stabilization goes, especially when you're just walking around, just walking around and trying to get shots of stuff. If you're gonna be doing a little walking and talking videos, I would highly suggest not using that lens. But on the, six, on the, the 16 2.8, I realized that it looked a lot better with the electronic image stabilization on. And before I, I thought that the electronic, the electronic image stabilization made the, the shot kind of look weird and everything. So I decided to come back out here this afternoon and take some shots, uh, just some of the walking shots that I got. Um, like I say, I started off with a 16 2.8 without the electronic image stabilization on the, the other day. And the walking shots, just kind of the walking around, filming stuff shots that I got, they didn't look very good at all. So I wanted to come back out late this afternoon and turn the image stabilization on and see what kind of walking shots I could get uh, with the 16 millimeter 2.8 with the electronic image stabilization on and the IBIS and everything turned on. So we're going to take a look at that and see what it looks like. Best stuff to sell out here, I didn't know that.
So after reviewing all the footage, to me, it's pretty apparent that uh, the 24 millimeter, I'm sorry, the 16 millimeter 2.8, which just a regular IBIS, is, is not very good. But when you go ahead and uh, add image, uh, the uh, digital image stabilization on there, it turns into a whole different camera and you're, you're able to get a lot more, a lot better shots. And you're able to get a lot better shots just kind of, you know, walking around and getting the shots that you may want. Uh, as far as the boost mode goes, I know that that's just for uh, taking a video of a stationary object. And uh, that's not what I was trying to do with it, but I just wanted, I've never used it before, so I wanted to kind of get a sense of what, uh, what it was like. The boost mode is definitely not for uh, walking around and getting shots of stuff. Uh, but the 2.8, the 16 millimeter with the uh, in-body image stabilization and the digital image stabilization looked pretty good to me. I will admit, I'm starting to become just a little bit of a Fuji fanboy. I mean, the XS10 has really changed my outlook on, on Fuji because it's so small. It's just a little bit bigger than a point and shoot and then you add those little bitty tiny prime lenses on there and it becomes a really, really small and easy package to, to handle and to take around with you. So I'm starting to become a Fuji fanboy and the colors on uh, the eternal profile is just something, um, it's just unbelievable. I just love it. To me, Fuji is just a few updates, a, a few minor tweaks away from being uh, one of the best cameras out there. Like if they were to improve the, the autofocus just a little bit, maybe it's the lenses, maybe it's the camera, I don't know what it is, but if they could just improve the autofocus just a little bit, it would be one of the best camera systems out there. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video with the look with the image stabilization of the XS10 and the 16 2.8 from Fuji. Thanks for watching.